Welcome to the uh, big power outage blog of uh, 2019. So it's uh, January 2nd, 2019, and we've had a huge storm come through, and uh, the entire island's been uh, basically powerless for uh, about uh, yeah, seven hours by now. Uh, we're expecting to have about two days of uh, power loss. Uh, we lost power just at midnight tonight and uh, it's progressively getting colder inside. We have 12C inside, minus 0.48 side. Uh, amazingly, uh, while we have lost power, we still have internet. Uh, I think we have a reasonably new exchange going to this property. so. Uh, we should have a good two days of backup time on the uh, internet connectivity, at least the phone line going through that. Uh, I think we also even have, uh, yeah, we have a signal on the phone. So we're doing pretty good. Uh, I'm very happy with the way uh, this uh, emergency has been handled. Uh, so for the time being, I'm probably the only guy within a couple of miles radius who's actually got any power from the battery bank downstairs so I'm cooking up a big batch of coffee for anybody who wants it and yeah just got done there 2 kilowatt inverter I have about 1.5 kilowatts I can get out of it and thankfully this brewer just draws 1 kilowatt so I don't have to bring out the variac in order to uh, chill it down oh, yeah we're doing pretty good all things considered I've spent a bit of time just getting everything done off that UPS there around for about five hours when they started screaming at me in the middle of the night so I had to just uh, pull an extension cord to power that stuff because the internet is important, the communications is important in case uh, things get worse it seems to have calmed down significantly though we had about 50 km an hour winds tonight, uh, almost nothing now uh, server still running, so that's good. We have probably a decent amount of backup time left on that, so I can still enjoy music and stuff coming off of that for a good while more. And I can just uh, get a power wire up from the basement if need be. And in here, I think we have no power at all. No. I shot down my bedroom UPS this thing. This thing is amazing. It ran for about five hours on these two 12 year old uh, car batteries uh, on very low load, but it powered my laptop through the night, so that was very nice. I'm not expecting to have more than a couple hours run time of that, though, so I'm just I'm keeping it shot down until I need it. Those batteries are pretty shot anyway, so I don't mind running them completely dead. They just pay my alarm clock and my laptop basically, don't use the big TV and stuff. Of course, well, there's a power outage. Uh, so, yeah, that's a bit it. I'm getting an excellent excuse to tear garbage like that table down and burning it right now because it's gonna get cold. Uh, I'm not expecting to have power back for another quite a few hours. And this house, especially if the wind picks up again, is going to be, get rather chilly. We're gonna be down to 5C in no time. That's all the walls and stuff cool down. Right now, I have some coffee to deliver. Okay, power outage blog two. So, this house is equipped with a stove, but it's uh, kind of in a bad place. But uh, we'll just need to get all this crap off of it. And I don't think these uh, shells are going to catch fire because it's one of these stoves that just kind of heats up the left part that heats up to the water heat over there so I don't think it, it's an issue having these things on there. If it is then well I'll have to rip them out while stuff is hot so as long as I get away get all the motherboards off of there I think I think we're good to start a fire here. I've got a bunch of wood I ripped out and didn't bother getting rid of here so we'll have a fair bit of basically garbage wood which should be reasonably dry should burn rather well. Heat me up for the night, it's just 11 degrees up 
uh, upstairs now. So uh, it's going to be rather cold tonight, especially upstairs in my bedroom. So we need to give a fire going. Okay, uh, power outage log uh, number, whatever. So I got most of the stuff cleared up of the uh, stove there, and it uh, gave it a bit of a decent cleaning. I was lucky enough to find some of the older fire working tools, one of these ash extractor rods which I'd misplaced horribly and a brush. So I cleaned uh, the thing out. It uh, was actually a lot cleaner than I did expect. Uh, I don't think this thing so much use after I got the oil burner and electric stove installed probably in the 70s but it's seen use uh, so we have it all cleaned up reasonably nicely, it doesn't have to be clinical uh, so I think the way this thing works is uh, you set a fire in there and uh, the ashes drop down there and uh, I think the outlet is like down there somewhere so uh, it's supposed to draw air over there, down there and out into a chimney over there because we have a chimney access vent there which I checked it's reasonably clean. Uh, the chimney should be in decent condition not too long since it was last used although I uh, opened the main ac access hatch and pulled out a lovely old bird's nest which is very dry and it's going to make lovely a tinder to get everything started with. Uh, so really I think we're pretty much done. I have shoved a couple of thermal blocks in there, these are ceramic blocks which have very high thermal capacity and uh, those are going to be uh, just providing some extra thermal mass uh, once the fire goes out, keeping this thing warm for a while I have a few more of those uh, in the barn so I'm going to just basically fill up both the uh, bread thing that there and normal oven there with them and uh, hopefully this thing is going to stay warm quite a while uh, you can actually put water in this thing as well. Uh, I'm not sure where you actually put the water in. It's probably one of these access hatch things there. So maybe I'll try just putting a bunch of water since we do have water pressure going on uh, still. Since uh, thankfully the water system we 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 where uh, got connected to this house is uh, uh, rather decent. It's uh, High budget, uh, decent uh, emergency protocol, so they have diesel generators and stuff and they will keep online as long as basically stuff doesn't blow up. But yeah, I've got a big, big lighter, so let's just see if we can get a fire started. Put the cover back on there and hopefully we're going to have some warmth. warmth. We're just about to bridge uh, 11C upstairs. We're about uh, 13C or 12C here according to that thermometer but uh, that's always very optimistic since it's about 5C cooler than the floor level. Uh, so yeah, I'll check back with you once we have a fire started. Okay, there well, we've got it loaded with some firewood, some kindling and some garbage. Uh, garbage thanks to my having a cold rod now causing me to sneeze about every three seconds so let's see if we can set the house on fire also put some lighting oil on there so the wood should be rather flammable don't think we need that anymore is off on this. There we go. There we go. That's looking pretty good. So we do have a decent pull in the chimney. There's no smoke coming in. You can see it's just getting sucked over there. Now I'm not sure what this thing should be set to. I think this is a valve. I think this means uh, biosto, which means like uh, cooking on top like uh, frying food and this means like kitchen cake so I think we want to have it on that because that's going to make it go like around those things rather than uh, flow more to those I don't know we'll see I also managed to get some water in this uh, the 
the uh, uh, tap is completely ruined, so that's, uh, I can't get it out, but uh, it doesn't seem to be going out on its own, which is good. So this water is going to heat up and give us a nice thermal capacity for 20 litres in there. And if it's, uh, it hasn't uh, decreased at all, so I think this whole tank is uh, keeping nice and tight. It seems to be a copper tank. Huh. Now it's just a question of uh, making sure fire doesn't go out, which it seems to be doing. So I need to focus on this, lest I freeze to death. Till next time. Ah, storm blog is something or the other. Success. We have a decent fire going. It's been going for a little while. I've uh, gotten a bunch of stuff in there just through a big fat piece of wood. And uh, that's going to take, that's going to catch on fire just fine. So, I'm still not completely sure how the switch valve the size is supposed to work. I think it's like set to adjust the power level of this lower chamber. I think like pasta means uh, like you cook a, cook a steak fiercely, you f fry it. Partially, whereas kate uh, means uh, like you, sl you you slow cook something. So the, the this is going to be the low power setting, and this is going to be the high power setting, letting more energy get to transfer down there, which is good. That's what we want. So we basically store as much energy in this uh, block of metal as we possibly can. That's probably going to cause a bit more uh, flow to the water thing as well. And I'll put the uh, blocks up here instead because they uh, it, it doesn't it takes quite a long time for it to heat up down there we just fetched a few of these out from the barn and they're just cooking the water out of them and these are going to take a fair bit of energy into them like they've been sitting on here for a while and they're still ice cold so these are high energy density blocks once they uh, get get some temperature going I'm gonna have to go out and see if I can find some more of them could be I have some inside as well under some speakers that are certainly worth installing. Ah, it was a nice turn of events. So now I just have to make sure nothing catches fire in case there's any debris in the chimney or something. I'm going to have to keep an eye on that but I don't think that's going to be too much. And this thing has such a long fire path in it since it's basically going around there, down and then out of the rear bottom there there's not going to be any flames at all going out into the chimney it's just going to heat up slightly uh, even if we have like a little sparks and stuff going I'm, I'm quite confident uh, nothing f actually burning is going to end up uh, going out of the chimney so I also had to uh, uncover this vent here I've had this completely covered up uh, before with this uh, sheet of plastic here because it uh, usually drags all the coal there in here since it's going straight out of a chimney but uh, uh, I was uh, getting rather a uh, bigger smoke chamber in here it, it was getting a bit difficult to breathe since there's, it's not completely airtight on the top of that so I have some flow going I also found some extra vent stuff here so this uh, valve I had to shut because it was sucking a bunch of air through this obviously unused chimney uh, connector and that was just not productive at all. But yeah, I think we're going to be pretty much set. I just need to keep the fire going for a few hours, let everything heat up properly, get some heat into the chimney stones and I think we might not freeze to death. Not have to use the electric heater.